I just wanted to do a quick video here on the uh, main features that I follow. These are the micros, but they all have eight larger weight equivalents. Um, these are just easier to trade, easier to be in and out, um, scale in, scale out, better to risk manage it for uh, me and my style. So the analysis and the bars and everything's the same. Um, so the E, as you can see, shooting star basically at high so far and pulling back. Obviously, this day is just beginning, opened at 6 p.m. about two hours ago. Um, but I'm thinking 3080s may be coming, or maybe in, in, in falling lower than that and getting between this box. Um, I have targets down here around these two, between this dotted line and this red line for my shorts. So if this market does sell off, I'll look to press in. If we get down to here and, and bounce, I'll look to cover my shorts and take some, uh, take some tiny wins and maybe some tiny losses and just cancel everything out at that point. Um, but I, I like I like a lot I like shorts here so far because um, I'll show you why here in a second. But the ES looks looks ready to pull back, and that's what I'm focusing focusing on. Now the one hour still the one hour is starting, so we've got we got a sell signal on the one hour. Um, so being in now with a stop above here um, would be ideal, or you can come in in the morning and start shorting with some with some spy. Which is why I may, what I may do depending on what we get, but so far, um, you know, we sold off. We sold off on the the nineteenth today, lower high, and now possibly new low right here. You know, there's support right through here, but if this doesn't hold, we're gonna definitely get down to that thirty eighties, um, maybe in a day or so. We're we're due for some volatility again. Um, and again, while I say that, let me go to it. So here's the VIX. Which this doesn't done jack. This is rollover, I think. Um, I believe that's rollover, so I don't even buy that move. But let's go to the daily chart. So the VIX is that rollover? Is that did we gap up? No, that's not rollover. What? So I don't know. Maybe the VIX gap, which we had in hammer, we opened at six. So um, I mean, it's quoting fifteen. So I don't know if that's from rollover or not, but. You know, the index is, for the VIX to pop that far, yeah, it was, must have been rollover because it didn't pop $3. Um, anyways, I just saw that gap up. The VIX futures are weird. I don't follow it, but I, I prefer the VXX or the, or the VIX um, just to give me better tells. Let's just go to the VIX. So the VIX, you can see, is around 12, 12 13 bucks, um, but it's got a buy signal. It's holding its lows right here. Uh, we got an engulfing candle inside of this. So again, upward is what I'm thinking. But again, we got to get above 13, 14s before that happens. So that's what I'm watching. The Nasdaq, same thing as the SP, the SPY e mini. A pullback looks like it's imminent. Back to maybe 80, 80, 90s would be a nice area. Again, old resistance right here and here and here becoming support. More than likely will happen or somewhere in there. There's a lot of support through here um, on the indexes. The rut. The rut, I'm short this. I'm using IWM. Um, I can adjust that trend line, I guess. Not that I'm not really like a trend line um, guy. It doesn't really matter, but it just gives you some context of the lower highs. And obviously, if you get above that, then you may want to cover your shorts and go long. Um, <clears throat> but this could be a flag pattern before we break out, which, again, based on this market, is probably what's going to happen. Um, but we'll see, like I said. Um, betting on the unexpected is how you make money in markets because if you're doing what everyone else is doing, it's priced in. There's no edge. Um, so, anyways, we looked at the VX. Let's look at gold. So the indexes, that you know, they don't have a sell signal yet on the Qs or the ES, but there's one that came in on the. Uh, there's one that came in on the small caps, which we went over this, I believe, before. Um, so that's what I'm watching too. That's that's a saving grace for the bull, the bears right there is that move. Um, but like I said, that could easily go away. We could pop higher. Oh, is that a signal on a spy? Uh, so here's the gold, which gold sold off. Now put in a higher low right here. So this is definitely a bullish sign. Two nice hammers. We've got a doji here, hammer, hammer, uh, higher low. So gold is either setting up to hit its head up here and flush down, which could happen if the market stay bid, or gold's going to hit up here, pull back, and just break out higher. Um, what's going to happen? Who knows? But gold did find some support through here after it broke out of this range. 
Um, and then it's got hit its head up here at 1560 area and then flushed back down, but now it's catching bids again, which again, if this holds, you know, gold could be going to break, hit these highs or break and hit 1650s plus. Again, I'm long gold long term uh, on using a lot of options for that or uh, gold names, AUI, um, even the gold miners, GDX, things like that. Um, so oil, oil, I'm, I'm long a lot of oil. I don't know if this is just a move to shake out the weak hands before we rip higher, but we'll see. I don't know how much of this. We have EIA coming this week as well, but we're making higher lows here up here on the daily chart. You know, we may have a, a bear flag forming here because you have a, we can mark this here like this. You know, right right through here, you got like a, a flag pattern forming, um, which again, are making higher lows, uh, higher highs, higher lows, higher highs. So are we going to break out and keep ripping? And test this, you know, Saudi Arabia, whatever, whatever that, whatever that attack was, Iran. I don't remember. Uh, again, I'm not a macro guy, fundamental guy. I don't even watch the news. I don't know what's going on in the world. Um, maybe in financial markets only. So, anyways, this support is it going to hold? That's what that's what I'm wanting, what uh, wanting to see. Now we have a nice uptrend line support, and we also have um, horizontal support here. So, this may be a great time to buy oil. Or oil is going to flush again, put in a lower high, and come back down and test the 50 area. Who knows? Again, I don't know. A lot of markets are in key spots. The euro. Again, and while I'm covering these assets, because these are the main asset classes, I don't have any commodities in here, such as uh, wheat, corn, or soybeans, but I'll glance at those. I just wanted to clean it up, and that's not like a... It's more of a seasonal type deal, um, but it can get its runs, where these are all rather volatile, can move any time of the year, any time of the day. Um, I mean, corn and wheat can too. There's not as often. So here's M6E. Here's the euro, which is 60, the euro, US dollar, whatever, FXE, what have you. So I've been long this since right around here. So, so far, so good. I'm up 80, 80 ticks, 80 pips, what have you, 60 pips, I don't know, something like that on the trade. I don't have a buy signal yet, but it might be coming. If we stay bid, I'm going to press into this. Again, I have a line here. If we get above that, hold, close above it, or hammer off of this line, then I'll be pressing into that for sure. So again, that's a uh, euro US dollar. Um, Repeating frequently on the stream when I do stream, and then notes like I had a short bias on these, but these are starting to catch bids. So uh, it's got a buy signal here and a buy signal here. So if it doesn't, if it gets above this resistance, it's definitely getting to here. And then if it gets above that, then we can test these highs or break up. And that, in order for that to happen, that means that the market's probably going to have to be selling off, um, which again would be the E, e mini S and P getting a deep pullback, maybe a, maybe a, a three to five percent. Um, correction um, or something along those lines that would take notes higher and people would flock into that for s safety and same with gold usually people buy gold and buy government um, government paper when they're uh, shitting their pants I guess you could say and obviously they buy puts on um, SPX and maybe go long VIX so anyways here's the 10 year yield and I'll be done after this so the 10-year yield, you can see, is pulling back. Like it was breaking out. It shot up here, pulled back, and now shot up here, pulled back. And again, this isn't an uptrend as well. This is a yield. Maybe, maybe people don't think it trades technical, but it trades inverse of bonds, um, ZN. So to me, it's it's this thing flipped upside down. Um, I mean, look, they're very similar. So you can use this to trade notes, um, depending on what type of trader you are. But you can see the... Um, the rates look ready to tumble. And if that were to happen, then obviously notes are going to go up. And then, but interest rates, they look like they want to go higher, at least on the longer end. The Fed manipulates the front end, but um, we'll see what the yield curve does. But so far, um, rates may be on the rise. I want to keep an eye on inflation, just to see what's going on with that. But again, all my trading is pretty much off a system or a signal. So 
you know, what I stream about or talk about versus what, you know, I'm in or trading could be two different things at times, depending on um, the account or, you know, the strategy I'm trading, I guess you could say. So anyways, if you found this video helpful, give it a like, stay tuned for future episodes, all the links are in the description. Again, subscribe on YouTube to stay in touch. That's where we're going to be pumping out all the content. Still using Vimeo as well, but YouTube seems to be what people like to, to use based on my feedback. And then also Twitter. Um, I could maybe set up a Telegram, but it might be just too much. You know, uh, simple less is more nowadays. So YouTube and Twitter. And then again, possibly in 2020, we'll be opening up the um, Slack chat room. And then the, the trading signal uh, service as well which will be on stocks and options um, and uh, Forex as well. So we can cover the whole globe. So and even, I think most people that watch this are domestic, um, but I do have some Forex people in Asia and Australia as well and some in Europe. So all right, guys, thanks for watching. Have a good night. Manage that risk. Peace.